Hello everybody, myself Ms. T.K. Tarni Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce CA, KSR College of Arts and Science Government, Trichangor. Now we are going to see about principles and practice of auditing. Auditing definition. Spicer and Pegler defines auditing as auditing is such an examination of books, accounts and vouchers of a business as shall enable the auditor to satisfy himself whether the balance sheet is properly drawn up so as to exhibit a true and correct view of the state of affairs of the business. According to him and as shown by the books and if not in what aspect he is not satisfied or the balance sheet is untrue or incorrect. Types of audit. The following are the types of audit. Statutory audit. An audit carried on as per the requirement of law is called as a statutory audit. Partial audit. When an auditor is asked to audit only a part of the account system is called partial audit. Cost audit. Cost audit is defined as the verification of cost accounting records. Continuous audit. A continuous audit is one in which the auditor visits his client's office at rural intervals throughout the year to verify the accounts. Internal control and its definition. According to Spicer and Peglar, internal control is best regarded as indication as the whole system of control, financial and otherwise established by the management in the conduct of a business including internal check, internal audit and other forms of control. Principles of a good system of internal control are fixed responsibility, standard forms, separation of auditing, accounting and control, rotation of employees, deduction of errors and frauds. The above five are the principles of a good system of internal control. Vouching and its definitions. According to Ronald A. Irish, vouching is a technical term which refers to the inspection by the auditor or documentary evidence supporting a transaction. Objects of vouching. All the transactions which is connected with the business have been recorded in the books of accounts. To verify that all transactions recorded in the books of accounts are supported by documentary evidence. The vouchers which support the entries are valid from the viewpoint that they are authentic and properly dated. These are the objects of vouching. Types of voucher Primary voucher is a type of voucher. It means primary voucher refers to the return evidence in original. Examples of primary voucher are purchase invoice, cash memo, bills, confirmation of balances, bank statements and contracts etc. Collateral voucher as a second type of voucher. When the original voucher is not available, copies thereof are produced in support or as subsidiary to remove suspicion on and to satisfy the auditor. Such a voucher is known as collateral voucher. Examples of collateral voucher are copies of sales invoice recepts copy of resolution passed in a meeting etc thank you all